This video is brought to you by flbeattutorials.com. In this video, I want to show you how you can quickly drag in audio files into the FL Studio playlist. Now, this can be used for a bunch of different functions. Maybe you want to pull in some audio loops or some sound effects or uh, maybe even a beat tag. That is something that I definitely use it for. Once I've composed a beat and I'm ready to sell it, at the end, I just drag in my beat tag samples into the playlist in the spots that I want them, and it's uh, smooth selling from there. So let's uh, discover how we do that. Right now we're looking at the, the sequencer here in the mixer and the channel settings window, but I want to view the playlist where we actually lay out our different patterns and, and sequences to make our beats. So if you don't see that by default, you can just go up here and click view playlist. Now this is the playlist and uh, you're probably familiar with it if you're watching this part of the tutorial. Uh, but basically you can paint in your patterns down here in blocks or you can paint them up here. And uh, you can do it that way or, or like I said down here with the blocks. But today I want to show you just how you can pull in audio files into this as well. Um, so let's say you have your beat composed here and you just want to bring in a beat tag or some type of audio file. You can grab one from Windows Explorer and just drag it over. And now you can see that that file is in here. So let's take a listen to that. And, and you can do this with multiple files. I can, uh, oops, I can grab this other file here and just bring that in. So now we have two files in the playlist. So you can see, you can quickly pull in multiple files. Um, you can go grab as many audio files as you need to pull in and you can do it that way. And uh, another thing I wanna show you now, if we go back to the step sequencer, you will see that this is automatically set to audio clips because we just pulled those in. And now these two audio clips have their own slots on the channel window. Now uh, you can move this back to all so you can see all your different samples and files. Uh, but the key thing here I wanted to show you was just that you will now see your audio files in the, in the channel window. And uh, that can be useful if you pull some audio files in here and you want to add some effects to them. Uh, you can just add effects to these channels, and uh, there you go. You have it. And that'll be all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.